Good morning, children. Welcome back to online class today. Children, in the previous class, I gave some homework, isn't it? I hope you all studied and completed the homework. Okay, children. In the previous class, we all learned about environment, isn't it? Do you remember what are the uh, components found in the environment? Biotic and abiotic components, isn't it? Biotic components are plants and animals. Abiotic components are non-living things found in the environment, isn't it? Such as soil, water, temperature, wind, etc. Is it ma? Uh, then what about environmental conservation? The uh, uh, protection and maintenance of environment, isn't it ma? Today we are going to learn about wildlife and its conservation, okay? Wildlife and its conservation. Wildlife and its conservation. That is nothing but protection, isn't it? This, do you know what is wildlife? Wildlife is all non-domesticated and non-cultivated flora and fauna found in the environment. Okay, all non-domesticated or non-cultivated. Okay, or this all non-cultivated varieties found in the environment. All non-domesticated and non-cultivated flora and fauna found in the environment. That is wildlife. Okay, this flora is flora means plants, isn't it? Fauna, animals. Undomesticated animals living in their natural habitat is wildlife. Okay, what do you mean by wildlife? Undomesticated or non-domesticated and non-cultivated flora and fauna found in the environment is wildlife. Okay, Thus, uh, there is no human habitation there. So, protection and maintenance of wildlife is called wildlife conservation. What do you mean by wildlife conservation? Protection and maintenance of wildlife is called wildlife conservation. It, uh, this wildlife conservation helps in promoting economic activities of the country. Isn't it, ma? It helps in promoting the economic activities which improves tourism. There is wildlife uh, the, the, it, it will be a tourist place there, isn't it? So, it helps in promoting economic activities of a country. Okay, now, this is, so you all know about what is wildlife conservation, isn't it? Wildlife cons protection and maintenance of wildlife is called wildlife conservation. Okay, decline in wildlife cons uh, population, how it become lesser? How it is uh, it becoming lesser? A decline in wildlife population. The wildlife resources has decreased in a global level uh, by 52% between the year 1970 and 2014 because of over exploitation. Over exploitation or you sun fairly and shrink others so others uh, of because of certain human activities. Okay. Shrink age of forest cover areas has resulted in animals become extinct. So, over exploitation and shrinkage of forest cover may resulted in uh, animals become extinct. What do you mean by extinct species which are not there in this world? The species of animals and plants not there in the world. That is extinct. What do you, uh, what do you mean by endangered? This is extinct. So, extinct means extinct species which are not there in this world, isn't it? That is extinct. What do you mean by endangered species which are going to become extinct? Species which are going to become extinct or endangered species. How the uh, wildlife population is going to become lesser? It has uh, because of over exploitation and shrinking of forest cover. Okay. Uh, this so shrinking of forest cover areas resulted in animals become extinct. What do you mean by extinct species which are not there in this world? What are it? Some animals are threatened by uh, some other animals and some are on the verge of extinction. What do you mean by extinct? Uh, the species which are not there in the world are no longer existing. Okay, endangered. What do you, what is endangered species which are not there in the world? So because uh, so, so to overcome all these problems, extinct uh, extinction and endangered, so the uh, this wildlife how to be. 
protected, isn't it? So uh, certain uh, uh, ports and sanctuaries are established to protect the wildlife. Next about aims of wildlife management. Main aim of wildlife conservation is to control and limit the exploitation of the spaces. Okay, to control and limit the exploitation of the spaces. Next, to preserve plants and animals from extinction. So, the main aim of wildlife, why we have to manage, uh, uh, this, why we have to protect the wildlife? Because wildlife is very, very important. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, it is uh, important for tourism. Uh, it will increase the economy of the country. Certain medicinal plants are obtained from the forest. We know in the previous class we all learned about forest and it's important, isn't it? Uh, uh, so, uh, so we have to protect the wildlife. To uh, the main aim of wildlife conservation is to control and limit exploitation of species. Second thing is to preserve the plants and animals from extinct and we should not allow the animals to extinct. Okay, then protect the species which are on the verge of extinction. Some species are going to become extinct. We, should, we must protect the species which are on the verge of extinction. Then preserve the endangered species. What is endangered? The species which are going to become extinct. You have to preserve the endangered species. Then to study the ecological relationship of the plants and animals in the natural habitat. Okay, for this. So, this uh, uh, to study the ecological relationship of plants and animals in natural habitat. Next, uh, uh, the, uh, hunting and poaching should be prohibited hunting as a certain animals are killed for their valuable skin tusk etc we should not allow to hunt animals and uh, we should not hunt animals for their valuable products okay so hunting and poaching should be prohibited then establishment of national parks wildlife sanctuaries protected and protected areas and biosphere Resource okay, what are sanctuaries? Protected place for uh, uh, wildlife, isn't it? This then so establishment of national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, then protected areas and biosphere resource. Okay, so for uh, so wildlife, how to be protected because of the uh, because they have certain aesthetic values okay or sci and scientific values so it has this wildlife how to be protected so wildlife because so that wildlife protection act was established in the year 1972 okay wildlife protection act was started or established in the year 1972 this uh, wildlife protection act have some conditions or some provisions okay for con the conditions or provis provisions of the wildlife act or first one is prohibiting hunting and killing of animals we all know that certain animals are killed for their valuable products isn't it so the conditions the, so that wildlife protection act was started in the year 1972 the conditions or the provisions of the wildlife act or first one is prohibit or prevent killing of killing and hunting of wild animals okay next one is constitute sanctuaries national parks and closed areas for wildlife conservation closed areas or protected areas for wildlife conservation next uh, constitute uh, certain, uh, the central this uh, zoo authority and recognition of zoos or uh, this uh, establishment of shoes okay for establishment of shoes zoos for the protection of animals uh, for shoes okay protection of animals then restrict or prohibit we should not buy the animal valuable products it should be prohibited so uh, this uh, restrict or prohibit trade of wild animals and products obtained from them okay 
we should not uh, by the uh, or uh, we, we we must prohibit trade in wild animal products then we can protect the wildlife so that certain organizations are started to protect the wildlife okay now we are going to learn the organizations involved in conservation of wildlife what do you mean by wildlife conservation protection and maintenance of wildlife isn't it so we all know that wildlife how wildlife is very very important isn't it mom so organizations involved in conservation of wildlife first organization ib IBWL okay first organization IBWL that is Indian Board for Indian Board for Wildlife okay so certain organizations are established to protect the wildlife or to conserve the wildlife first is IBWL Indian Board of Indian Board for Wildlife Conservation second is uh, second is WWF what is that WWF World Wildlife Fund 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 for Nature or Fund in Nature World Wildlife Fund in Nature Third is World Conservation Union WCN WCN World Conservation Conservation uh, uh, this uh, Union Okay Union for Nature. These uh, these organizations are involved. Uh, then organizations are involved to conserve nature. Then IUCN. Next organization IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Okay. Next is CITES. CITES. This is one of the organization. This is Convention of International Trade in Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species. This is one of the organization established for or established to conserve the wildlife. Next is Bombay Natural History Society. Okay. Next organization is Bombay History Natural Society. The last one is Wildlife uh, uh, Preservation Society of India, which is in Death Rattan. Okay. So these are the organizations involved in involved in protection of wildlife. Okay. These organizations are established to protect the wildlife. So we all know that wildlife is very important isn't it mom okay what is wildlife the all non-domesticated and non-cultivated biota found in the environment next about soil erosion okay so you all know that uh, this uh, this top soil top layer of the soil that contain humus isn't it Humus, the so top soil contain humus, it increases the fertility of the soil. So the fertile part, uh, fertile part of the soil is the upper part of the soil. This removal of upper layer of the soil by wind and water is called what? Soil erosion. Okay, what do you mean by soil erosion? The removal of upper part of the soil or upper layer of the soil. The top layer of the soil is rich in humus that is the fertile part of the soil. Removal of the upper layer of the soil is called what? Soil erosion. Okay. So soil, uh, this upper layer of the soil is blown away by wind or washed, washed away by running water. So running water, fast running water uh, for fast flowing water as well as fast blowing wind. Because of these factors, the top soil or humus is uh, uh, removed. So that is called soil erosion. So removal of top soil uh, or upper layer of the soil is called soil erosion. Certain factors that may cause soil erosion, isn't it mom? So because of soil erosion, what will happen? Loss of humus. Loss of humus. What is humus? Humus is the fertile part of the uh, soil layer which is rich in nutrients. It is applicable for plant growth. Now, 
this uh, it, soil erosion uh, what are the uh, why it is happening uh, how it is happening because because of humus uh, loss of humus causes a soil erosion loss of humus decreases the fertility of the soil decreases the fertility of the soil next about agents of soil erosion agents of soil erosion agents of soil erosion high velocity of wind then our air current then fast flowing water then certain human activities such as deforestation farming over uh, then overgrazing by cattle all these are the causes of soil erosion or other agents of soil erosion high velocity of wind if, if if the wind speed is very high it may uh, uh, it may uh, blow on the top soil okay top, top the top soil is if there is high velocity of wind top soil is blown away by wind then if it is flat the top soil is uh, washed away by water isn't it so high velocity of wind air current flowing water then human activities deep such as deforestation farming over grazing by cattle all these causes the soil erosion okay so soil erosion as uh, uh, soil erosion may have uh, may result in the uh, destruction of certain trees and plants okay the now management of soil erosion how to control or how to control soil erosion okay management of soil erosion or how to control soil erosion first is retain vegetation plant more more uh, trees and small uh, shrubs uh, small uh, plants etc retain vegetation cover so that soil is not exposed out isn't it mom if there is more plants or vegetation is more in an area we we, sh we cannot able to uh, find the soil there isn't it so retain vegetation cover so the soil is not exposed if the soil is exposed if there is no vegetation or if it is a barren land the soil may expose down the soil is easily blown away by wind and washed or and washed away by rain water isn't it so how to control soil erosion or prevention of soil erosion first one is retain vegetation cover so that soil is not exposed okay second one is overgrazing should be controlled if the cat if the animals over, uh, uh, are grazing a particular area the soil may, where the top soil is exposed out doesn't it so the cut stalks only with uh, this if by overgrazing uh, this the cut stalks of plants only will be there the top soil is exposed so if there's a possibility of uh, the stop soil blown away by wind so over grazing should be controlled third one is crop rotation and soil management is uh, soil management is, is improved that is crop rotation what do you mean by crop rotation pra the, uh, pra the practice of growing a pulse crop and a cereal crops uh, in an area alternatively okay uh, practice of growing several crops in a, a, a several crops in one season in uh, the was uh, in the same land should be cultivated by other other crops in the next season that is crop rotation rotation of crops practice of growing cereal crops and a pulse, pulse crops alternatively in a area it can pre it can prevent soil erosion because of crop rotation the area should be enriched with the nutrients okay so uh, that is also one of the one of the uh, uh, one of the method to improve the soil fertility next the runoff water should be stored in catchments okay we should not allow the water uh, to run off 
uh, it should be uh, it should be stored in uh, ponds or the water bodies etc okay or in water or in certain water bodies etc so runoff water uh, should be stored in catchments next uh, reforestation what is what is reforestation planting more trees okay reforestation and terrace forming stepwise forming and counter plowing so this counter plowing also can stop the flood okay so yeah, it can arrest the flowing of uh, this, uh, water uh, so that uh, this uh, can also prevent soil erosion next wind speed can be controlled uh, the wind speed can be controlled by planting more trees so if these are the agents of uh, so, uh, these are the methods to prevent soil erosion children you all know what is soil erosion is and then removal of topsoil that is soil erosion and how this uh, what are the uh, factors may cause the soil erosion then how to prevent soil erosion so uh, we should not allow the soil to uh, erode it. okay uh, so how to prevent soil erosion as first is retains vegetation cover so that the soil is not exposed out then uh, overgrazing should be controlled then third is crop rotation and soil management is improved then next is runoff water should be stored in catchments the next one is the fifth uh, fifth uh, uh, prevention is reforestation terrace forming and counter plowing plowing okay then uh, uh, wind speed can be controlled these are the uh, pre these are the ways to prevent soil erosion okay so these are the ways to prevent soil erosion children you must uh, you must learn this answers how to prevent soil erosion what is soil erosion what are the agents of soil erosion okay children now you all turn page 326 you all turn page 326 take page 326 Roman number 1, second turn, removal of soil particles from the land is called what? Soil erosion. Soil erosion. Now turn page, page 327, short answer question. What the short uh, answer in a sentence? Answer in a sentence, third one, Roman number 5. Third one, what are the agents of soil erosion? What are the agents of soil erosion? The answer is there in page 318. Page 318. Sorry, page 318. Agents of soil erosion. Roman number 5, question number 3. Agents of soil erosion. Uh, second paragraph, agents of soil erosion are high velocity of wind, air currents, flowing water, landslide, human activities such as deforestation, farming, mining and overgrazing by cattle. Okay, then long answer, second one. Long answer, second one. Roman number seven, second one. How will you prevent soil erosion? Answer is there in the same page, 318. 318, management of soil erosion or how will you, this uh, this heading how will you prevent soil erosion what is the written vegetation cover so that soil is not exposed overgrazing should be controlled crop rotation and soil management improve soil organic matter or soil nutrients next runoff water should be stored in the catchment reforestation terrace terracing and counter plowing then wind speed can be controlled by planting trees in the form of shelter belt it can uh, wind speed can be controlled by planting trees. It can uh, arrest the uh, uh, fast blowing, uh, fast blowing wind, isn't it? So in the form of shelter. But these are the points you must learn, uh, children. So for the uh, for today's assignment, Roman number five, Roman number five, question number three, and uh, that is answer in assonance. Then Roman number seven, it's a long answer. First, uh, second question okay children you have to learn and write it in the notebook 
uh, then the fill in the blanks also first to do your learning and write, writing in the notebook. Okay children, thank you. We shall meet again in the next class.